I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore some number patterns. We'll start with simpler ones and then have slightly more difficult as we move on. Copy each pattern, write the next three terms. You can pause the video, copy these patterns, right? So we have six of them for you. The first one is 3579. You need to write next three terms. That is to say, what comes after 9 and then and these three terms, correct? So likewise, copy each pattern and write next three terms. So we have now 2, 3, 5, 8, 12 and then next three terms. 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, next three terms, right? So likewise, 9, 18, 27, 36, next three terms. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. This is a bonus question, right? This is very difficult. So this is a bonus question for you. You can take anybody's help to solve this question, correct? So these are the number patterns which we need to explore now. Correct. Let's begin with the very first one. These are all odd numbers. 3, 5, 7, 9 are odd numbers, right? These are odd numbers. And the skip counting. Do you see this skip counting? Add two each time. So next term you get by adding two. So add two each time, correct? To get to the next number. So that is how you can figure out. So next number should be nine plus two. That is to say 11. And then we have 13 and 15. So that is how you get next three terms. Now let's look into part B. 21, 19, 17, 15. Well, what we need to see is it is decreasing, correct? It is a decreasing pattern. And it is decreasing by how much? It is decreasing by 2. So it is minus 2. So as you move towards the right, you do minus 2, correct? You do minus 2. You do minus 2 to get to the next term. So to get here, we have to do minus 2. Again, we have to do minus 2. And then again take away 2 to get the next term. So let us take away 2 each time. So 15 take away 2 is 13. 13 take away 2 is 11. 11 take away 2 is 9. Next one is 2, 3, 5, 8, 12. Now how to do this one? It is kind of tricky. So when you move from 2 to 3, you add how much? you add 1. So it is plus 1, right? 2 plus 1 is 3. But when you move from 3 to 5, you are adding 2, right? You are not adding 1, but you are adding 2. So when you move from 5 to 8, you are adding 3, right? So it's plus 3. And then if you do plus 4, do you get 12? Yes, you do. Correct. So you add one more each time. So here you add one more each time. Do you see that? So that is the type of pattern you have. So you start at 2, add 1 and 1 more each time. That is what the pattern is. Now we know the pattern. Right. Let's write down the terms. We'll add 5 now. If you add 5 you get 17. Then we will add 6. Do you see that? So 17 plus 6 is 23. Now you add 7. So when you add 7, you get 30. Well, you can use the calculator or, or lines to add, correct? So you could do 12 plus 5. You could do 12 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you get 17, correct? And then you have to add 6. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So adding 6, we get 23. Now to 27, we say 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 130. So these three dots, seven dots, you added to get 30. So that is how you can get the next number, right? Now what we have here is 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. Hmm. How to do this one? 
that seems to be complicated. What you notice here is that this 2 remains constant. So alternate 1, 2, you skip and then write 2 and then you skip and then write 2 and then you skip and write 2. That helps, correct? And how about this number? Well, let's look into this. 3, 4, 5 and then you should get 6. So that is how you can do this particular pattern. I hope you find it interesting. Got it? Okay. Now this one is 9, 18, 27, 36. How do we get this? Hmm. It is 9's times table, right? So you are adding 9 each time. So you add 9 each time to get this one, right? So you add 9 each time and then complete the next three terms. So 36 you get 45. What you also notice here is that 1's place decreases by 1 and the 10's place increases by 1. So 45 and then 54 and then 63. So <coughs> 8, start from it, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do you see that? So that is another pattern in this particular question. It is very interesting. When you add 9, that is the kind of pattern you get. And when you add 4 and 5, 9, 5 and 4 is 9, 6 and 3 is 9, 1 plus 8 is 9, 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 6 is also 9, right? So that is the beauty of 9's times table. Okay, let's do the last one. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. This is the most difficult question. You can actually take help and then get back to this question. Well, let me give you the solution here. How do we get the numbers? To get 8, I'm adding 5 and 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. To get 5, I'm adding 2 and 3. So add previous 2. To get 3, I'm adding 1 and 2. To get 2, I'm adding 1 and 1. And that is how I get my pattern, right? So what are we doing here? Add previous two numbers that is what we are doing. So to get this number we will add 5 and 8 which is 13. To get the next number what am I going to do? I am going to add 8 and 13 right which is 21 and the next number should be add 13 and 21 right. So get 34. That is how we get this pattern. This is indeed a very difficult question. But I hope with this you have learned most of the number patterns which you should know. Thank you and all the best.